Dubai-based mall operator Majid Al Futema has reported a 13% increase in H1 revenues thanks to regional expansion. The positive figures came even as negative consumer sentiment and the impact of VAT proved challenging in the UAE, according to company CEO Elaine Bajani. How Al Futame overcame these adverse conditions is the subject of today's Inside AB with myself, Bernd Debusman, and Jeremy Lawrence. Jeremy, good results for Majid Al Futame then. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's been sort of challenging. Uh, times in, in the UAE, at least as far as perception goes, which we'll get to. But these figures were great. So they posted uh, half year earning sales that rose to $4.85 billion. And that's that's 13% increase. And and as Alan Bajani said, uh, that was despite what he described adverse market conditions. So really good results. So could you tell us a bit about that, the adverse market conditions and the, the consumer sentiment um, issue that he, that he kind of highlighted? Yes, I can. His quote was, our revenues are up, which shows resilience in a market that has had some adverse conditions, especially around consumer sentiment. He talked about that, of course, that was introduced in January. And against this perception in the market that there's been a slowdown and, and, and whatnot. But um, he said the government's done some important things uh, he said that they're trying to reinvo- reinforce the overall sentiment uh, that, that, you know, long term, there's been lots of positive changes that they've been doing in, in lots of areas. The stimulus package by the Abu Dhabi government to spend 50 billion dirhams in the next uh, in the next three years, slashing the fees in hotels and restaurants, all the new visa changes. This is all aimed at trying to to reinject some p- positivity into the market. And for that reason, Majid Al Fatame are confident that they're looking at a, a, a better story ahead. But as these figures show, the bottom line is they're already doing all right, okay, more than okay. And they're also quite active outside the UAE, of course. I mean, in, in Egypt, for example, and in lots of places. Tell us a bit about that expansion that they've been talking well, about. Well, this has been the key to that growth so far. So in Saudi Arabia, obviously, we've had um, the cinemas being allowed and, and uh, Majid Al Fatim have Vox. They plan to open 600 screens in Saudi in the next five years, along with city centre malls, uh, Carrefour stores and Magic Planets. Uh, Bajani said that the social reforms in the kingdom uh, that show that the government's really walking the talk, he said. Um, then down in Oman, we've had the proposed three, $13.5 billion Madina al Urfan, which is a mall, but also a mixed-use development with uh, offices and uh, residential space, uh, which he says is going to be the new center of Muscat. I mean, that's a massive project for Oman, but he thinks the, the market's ready. And then MAF is also extremely engaged in Kenya. They've got 10 locations there, six they've already developed, and they're gonna progress into other parts of East Africa. And then finally, Egypt, they've secured an agreement with the government there to open 100 uh, Carrefour stores. So, these big plans around the region have possibly offset the slowdown that we've seen in recent years in the UAE, which has led to these great figures. And um, last question, uh, but in terms of e-commerce, which seems to be you know always a hot topic here in the UAE, what, are, what is the company doing to respond to that demand, the e-commerce? Sure, well, for every big mall operator, that's got to be the big question. He said Majid Al Fatemi is becoming as prominent digitally as it is physically, uh, which is a big and bold statement to make. Um, he says that they've introduced Carrefour Now, which is a one-hour delivery service in the UAE, and they plan to do that across the region. And he says they're getting good pickup in Saudi as well for the, for the e-commerce. Um, but he says this is very important. He says physical malls are still very important to the culture over here and the consumers. He said, the reality is it's about the experience rather than the act of buying. We are very clear about the difference between shopping and buying. So he still thinks obviously there's a big place for it, hence these expansion plans across the region. Okay, well, uh, well, thank you. Very interesting. Um, of course, if you want to hear more details about Majid al Futame and their expansion plans, go to arabianbusiness.com. As always, you're watching Inside AB. Make sure to tune in every weekday at 10 a.m. and subscribe. Thank you.